right, well this is it. The harvest is over. I'm all packed up and ready to roll. I'm going to say goodbye to everyone in Bella here. She's been a really good friend. She's really kind of liked hanging out by the van here, going on bike rides with me. See you, Bella. You've been a good girl. Yeah. But it is time to ramble, so on the road we go. Let's do this. The adventure continues. Okay, we are ready to do this. Said my goodbyes. Gave Bella one more pat on the head there. And I just realized that I did not pick any apples to go. So I've got a little bag. I'm going to stop by the apple tree and get some apples for snacks. Looks like the sun is starting to break through. It was cold last night. It got down to 35. So I'll probably be getting into some cold weather as I head east. But not too cold. I don't think we're going to have any snow or anything like that. The temps are just dropping. So hopefully I'll have some sunny days, cool sunny days, be able to get out there and explore. And hopefully still see some fall colors. I'm kind of preparing myself. I feel like a lot of trees have probably already lost their leaves. It is October 10th today, which is a great feeling leaving this early. Last year we were here till November 14th. And on October 10th of last year, we had a blizzard come through. So we were uh, not be able to work for a good week or two because of the blizzard. And we've got clear sunny skies. I'm going to hop out and go get some apples real quick. Okay, apples are picked. Time to get on out of here. Goodbye farm. Goodbye. Going to uh, take Interstate 29 South down to Grand Forks, could do a little shopping, and then I'll be cutting east from there, getting back on Highway 2 East. Make my way out of North Dakota, or right along the Minnesota state line, so I'll be cutting right into Minnesota pretty quick, and probably spend a little time in Minnesota. I was looking at a map and found a lakeside camp, so probably stop there, spend at least a couple few days, and start mapping out where I want to go. I've got a little bit of time up here in the north. Before it gets too cold for me it's gonna get a little chilly but I can handle that as long as it's not snowing too much goodbye farmhouse away we go oh yeah this is a good feeling Woo. back on the road over the Red River into Minnesota. Welcome to Minnesota. Hello Minnesota. Goodbye North Dakota. The Red River flows north into Canada. It's one of the few rivers in the U.S. that flow north. One of the few big rivers. This is East Grand Forks, Minnesota. The sign says population 8600. like we found ourselves another dirt road. I see some blue sky poking through up there. Looks like it may clear up after all. So I'm gonna make my way down this dirt road here and see if I can find a little camping area. We've got a little forest road here. The sign says lake access. We'll go check it out. I have been down this route before on Highway 2, so I don't know if I've camped here or not. I can't remember. It's kind of seeming familiar. It was a different time of year. I believe it was in the summer, so it looked a lot different. You got to be careful in these high winds here, being around all these trees. Make sure I park in the right spot. But this looks nice. This looks like it'll work. Let's see if I can get closer to the lake. 
Oh, it's nice seeing all these leaves on the ground. Hey, look at that, nice and level. All right, well, it is definitely still pretty windy. Got a spot here next to the lake. I did a little walk around here, and most of these spots, there's not any real lake access. You gotta go up front by the boat ramp there. There is a little trail sneaking through the scrub here, but this is the spot here. Got a nice level spot. There is a little rock fire ring here. So I think I'm gonna call this home for a couple days. A little bit of a clearing here with the wind. I shouldn't have to worry about any branches falling on the van. Well, this is feeling good. Oh man, so nice to be back out here. I'm gonna get settled in here at camp and uh, probably cook up some lunch. Well, it is lunch time. I'm going to do up some chicken pad thai. So I'm going to get some chicken cooked up and we'll get work on the noodles. Get everything else going. I'm hungry. All right, I think this chicken is just about done. Just want to get that cooked up. I'm going to pull that out, let it cool, and then slice it up real thin. Get my bowl out. These are the noodles I'm using here. They're super tasty, easy to cook. You just boil water, add the hot water to a bowl, and uh, put the noodles in there and just let them soak for like 15 minutes, then they're good to go. Just kind of pour these over the noodles, fill that bowl right up. All right, so I'll just let those soak. And about 10, 15 minutes, I'll chuck on those. Take and get my carrot and onion all sliced up. I like to do the carrots real thin. Kind of like shredded almost. Well, it feels good to be back out here. I was a little hectic on the job there. We were working some 16 hour shifts. I barely had time to even make myself food. So I pretty much just lived off of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So that'll be nice to get back to some home cooking. And the van's been running good. I'm, uh, geez, over 1500 miles since I left Washington. And it's been shifting real smooth. Most of you know I had a rebuilt transmission put in, so uh, yeah, it seems to be running real good. Shifts real smooth, no leaks, no funny noises. So knock on wood, it keeps it up. Uh, we got the carrots done up there. Now it's time to work on the onions. Got all our goodies prepped. I'm actually going to crush up some peanuts too. It's always nice to top off some pad thai with some crushed peanuts. So we'll get those going. Still got to pull out the chicken and slice that up. I like to slice it real thin. And then these noodles should be just about done. We'll stir those up a little bit, let them soak some more. Chopping up some peanuts here. So I'm just going to get some oil heated up in my cast iron skillet. I am going to cheat this time around and use uh, pre-made pad thai sauce. You could make this pretty easy. Um, it's just brown sugar, rice vinegar, soy sauce, and fish sauce. And we're pretty much there. Everything is already cooked. Oh, and that pad thai sauce smells so good. I'll try to do this without making a mess here. And traditionally, even when you order like a chicken pad thai, they will add a little bit of tofu in there, like little cubes of tofu, but I did not have any tofu, so going with just the chicken. And then uh, let's see if we can give you a better shot of this as I top it off. Now this is the magic for me, just adding a little bit more fresh carrot, a little bit more green onion, and then the cilantro. Now a lot of people don't like cilantro, but I love it. And then, of course, the crushed peanut. And man, if I had the lime, that's the only thing I'm missing. A little bit of lime juice squeezed on there. Oh man, so good. 
We are gonna call that good, guys. That is my chicken pad thai in a van. Let's give it a taste test. All right, let's get a little taste of everything in one bite. Oh yeah, so good. That peanut, I'll add a little bit more peanut on there. And I didn't add my chili powder, so I'm gonna add just a little shake of that just to give it a little bit of spice. Mix that in. Telling you the lime would have topped it off, but it's pretty darn good without it. Yes. Thanks for watching guys. Next video we're going to head up to the North Shore, Lake Superior. Hope you're all doing well out there. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. Peace.